and welcome to Take Your Territory with Jamie Rohrbaugh. This is the podcast where I encourage you to go out and take your dream, receive your destiny from the Lord Jesus, the destiny that He planned for you before the foundation of the world. This is the territory that God has ordained for your life. It's a big dream that you have, and it can happen. Every good thing is waiting for you, and today we're going to talk about making that visible in your life. Stay tuned for today's episode. Hello, and welcome to today's episode of Take Your Territory with Jamie Rohrbaugh. Hey, I am Jamie Rohrbaugh. So glad to be talking with you today. No matter where you are, if you are in your car or working or going for a walk or washing your dishes at home or any other place, thank you for taking the time to tune in with me today to this podcast. Hey, today we're going to continue our series on The Secret Place, talking about The Secret Place with Jesus. This is a place where we all want to live, and it all goes back to Psalm chapter 91. The first verse says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Well, my friend, don't you want to know more about what happens when you live in that secret place? I want to talk to you today about physical safety, physical safety and physical immunity from the enemy, from the attacks of the enemy, who is the devil, and his minions who come only to steal, kill, and destroy in your life, you can have physical safety and immunity from the devil. You can have safety and immunity from random horrible things that happen in the world. You can have safety and immunity from sicknesses and diseases. How? Because if you dwell in the secret place of the Most High, then you are entitled to receive the manifestation of the promises of God regarding safety and immunity. Let's dive in. So to get started in this place of safety and immunity in the Lord, we know first that the secret place is the place of abiding in Jesus. It is that place of being intimately connected with him where we think about him all the time. We pay attention to him and the fact that he is always with us. We talk to him throughout the day about whatever it is that we're going through, whatever we're thinking or pondering, or if we have questions, we ask him questions. We treat him like he's here because he is. And so that is how you start to abide in Jesus and in his love by simply training your mind to pay attention to him, training your spirit to sense him, to feel him, to submit to him all the time. Now, when you get to that place, it's very important that you say things, that your tongue and the words that you confess match up to the fact that you're abiding in Jesus. Because Psalm 91 verse 2 says, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him I will trust. So this is very important because these first two verses of Psalm 91 contain these conditions to the promises. They are the preconditions God sets before us to show us, hey, all these amazing things happen for you if you'll just do these things. And the things that God asks us to do are pretty simple. They are to dwell in the secret place with him abide under his shadow, which is his hovering and his brooding, and to speak out of our mouths that we trust the Lord, that he is our refuge and our fortress, our God in him do we trust. Now, when we meet those two conditions, we are entitled to amazing, amazing promises. Check this out. When you dwell in the secret place of the Most High, and when you say of the Lord that he is your refuge and your fortress, that he is your God in whom you trust, then surely the Lord shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler. That's what it says in Psalm 91.3. Now notice that first word, surely. It means guaranteed, 100%, absolutely without fail. God will never, ever, ever fail to do this for you. He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler. What is the snare of the fowler? My friend, the snare of the fowler is the trick and the plot of the enemy to pull you down and pull you into captivity when you're free and flying high. Did you know that birds of prey are actually still captured these days for hunting purposes? That people who fly hawks will still capture birds when they're babies and get those birds to imprint on them. In other words, to become attached to them as if that was their parent and teach these birds to go out and hunt. Now, I'm not making any comments about whether I like that practice or don't. I'm a big fan of birds in general. I just love to see them flying beautiful and free. But the fowler 
will try to snare a bird to use for his own purpose. You know what? The enemy wants to try to snare you to use you for his own purpose too. The enemy wants to steal, kill, and destroy. The devil hates you. And you need to know, Jesus told us in John 10.10, that the thief does not come except to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came that you may have life and have it to the full until it overflows. There's a big difference there between the purposes that God has for you compared to what the devil wants to do to you. But when you dwell in the secret place of the Most High, surely the Lord God will deliver you from the snare of the fowler. He absolutely will. He will also deliver you from the perilous pestilence. What is the pestilence? It's the plague. It's the sickness. It's the disease. It's the pandemic. God will deliver you out of its hand and God will not allow it to win over you. Hey friend, are you believing God for your dream house, for a place that is safe and beautiful and secure, a place where you can raise your family, where you can live in peace and total shalom, nothing missing, nothing broken? You know, Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 18 says this, my people will dwell in a peaceful habitation, in secure dwellings and in quiet resting places. Isn't that beautiful? If your heart yearns for a peaceful habitation, a secure dwelling, and a quiet resting place, then I have a brand new ebook for you. This ebook is called Your Prophetic House Encourage Your Heart and Build Your Supernatural Home. And this ebook is instantly downloadable. It is a printable PDF that you can get on my Gumroad store, and it has material in it about confessions to speak over your house, a prophetic word over your house, how to cleanse your house a prayer for a paid-for home on earth as it is in heaven and your mansion does not have a mortgage in heaven. <laughs> How and why to make a vision board for your house, 16 miracle scriptures to pray and take for yourself over your house and over any other miracle you need, and a brand new prayer about the furnishings of your house. Lord, fill my house with treasure because the Bible says that there is treasure in the dwelling place of the righteous. Hey, this ebook is only $10. It is going to be a big blessing to you. I'm already getting testimonies about how the Lord is using it to minister to people. Go to my Gumroad store, download it today. You'll be glad you did. Hey friend, is this ministry blessing you? Have our free podcasts and blog posts and prophetic words and new version plans and videos and live streaming worship, prophetic mentoring sessions and all the other things we offer. Have those things been a blessing to you? If so, would you consider partnering with me? Our ministry is made possible because God provides all our needs, but he uses people around the world to do it. We have ministry partners who partner with us in the amount of $1, $2, $10, $8, $20, $100, $150, and more every month. If you would like to shoulder up with me and run for the king with me in this ministry, go to our website, click on Give, and you will find about five ways to give through Cash App, PayPal, credit cards, ACH, debit cards, U.S. mail, and so on. My friend, the Lord uses you. Thank you for your generous support. If you're already a partner, please know I pray for you daily. We are so thankful for you. And I appreciate your faithful co-laboring with me as we reach the world for the kingdom of God and bring souls into the kingdom and raise up a pure and spotless bride unto Jesus Christ. The Lord uses you to help make it happen. Thank you. We read on in verse 4. Psalm 91 says, He shall cover you with his feathers. Oh, my friend, this is beautiful. Years ago, I had a vision. It happened when I was praying, and you could even just call it a mental picture if you want to, but I know it was something the Lord showed me in my mind's eye, and it was so clear. It has impacted me for years. On that particular day, I was very discouraged. I didn't want to go out and face the world. I just wanted to hide. Have you ever had those days? I know I've had plenty of them over the course of my lifetime. And before I knew Jesus, they overwhelmed me. But after I knew Jesus, I learned to take these days to him and ask him for help. Well, on this particular day, I was asking him just to hide me and cover me and to help me get through the day with his grace because I didn't want to face what I had to face that day. Well, when that happened, when I prayed for God's help with this situation, I immediately saw in my mind's eye a beautiful, 
sharp-eyed eagle. And this eagle was perched somewhere high, and his eyes were darting around, his head swiveling back and forth. He could see everything. And that eagle represented my father. Under that eagle's wing, I saw myself hidden there. Now, it wasn't like I was partially sticking out from under the wing so that anyone could see me or anything like that. No, this eagle was so big in my mind's eye in this vision the Lord gave me that I was completely covered under this wing. Under there, I could feel the warmth of the feathers. I could see the rich brown of the feathers. I could hear the th thump, the thump, the thump, the thump of the heartbeat of God. And no one on the outside could see me at all. I was completely covered and sheltered by this wing of the mighty giant eagle. And I knew as I was under that wing, I could feel it, I could sense it, that the eyes of the Lord were roaming to and fro about the earth, just like I saw that eagle looking back and forth with sharp, clear, brilliant, golden eyes. He saw everything, the same way that our Father watches over us and sees everything around us, everything from eternity to eternity, God sees it. And so God protects us under the shadow of his wing. And that's what it's talking about here in Psalm 91. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. Now, I'm not suggesting that we worship eagles or that God is an eagle. God is spirit. But it is saying here that God will cover you with his feathers. He will cover you and shelter you and protect you from the world. Are you having a day right now where you just need to be protected from the world? If so, make sure you're in that secret place because God will cover you with his feathers. He will give you refuge under the shadow of his wings and his truth will be your shield and your buckler. What does that mean? It means his truth, which is his word spoken over you, will protect you from the darts of the enemy. We know from the Apostle Paul's writings about the armor of God in Ephesians that we hold up the shield of faith and the sword of the Spirit. Well, that shield of faith quenches all the fiery darts of the enemy, according to Ephesians. We see the same thing here in Psalm 91, that his truth, our faith in his word, our faith in his truth, that his truth held up above us shall be our shield and our buckler, that nothing can access you if you will hold up the word of God over yourself and say, God's word is true. God is not a man that he should lie or the son of man that he should repent. God is always faithful. His words will always come to pass. His truth will be your shield and your buckler. Now it says in verse five of Psalm 91 that you shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. My friend, these are very literal promises to protect you from very literal things. Terror by night, you won't be afraid of those things. Arrows that fly by day, people try to attack you. The enemy tries to come against you and attack your mind. Bad things happen to you. You shall not be afraid of these things. Pestilences, sicknesses, pandemics that walk in the darkness. No, you will not be afraid of these things either. You will not be afraid of the destruction that lays waste at noonday, because when you dwell in the secret place of the Most High, these things cannot come near to you. It says in verse 7, A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. My friend, again, that is a very literal promise for physical protection. I speak this over my family all the time, and you should too. Say, a thousand may fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come near me and my family. For we dwell in the secret place of the Most High, and we abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We say of the Lord, He is our refuge and our fortress, our God and Him do we trust. This is what you have to do to meet those conditions, to abide in Him and to speak out that you trust Him. But when you do that, you have total immunity. Now, my friend, this is the first half of Psalm 91. I'm going to talk about the second half in the next podcast. So I pray that you're enjoying this series on The Secret Place. Be sure you subscribe to this podcast. Check out our website at fromhispresence.com. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.